Today we're going to the Las Vegas Mirage. We're going around back to visit the Secret Garden. I don't think a lot has changed in the 20 years since my last visit to the dolphin habitat. But even if you've seen it before, it's still a fun adventure. And especially when you can see it for free using the My Vegas app. Get free tickets on that app and it'll save you the $25 entry fee. Uh, $20 if you're military. Uh, kids 4 to 12, 19. They also have some special experiences can normally be purchased. Right now they're suspended due to COVID. When they get back to normal though, it might be interesting. It's $150, but you can paint a picture with a dolphin. Like I said, they have a variety of other thing experiences. Uh, meet and greet for uh, starts at $50 per person, I think. Even when there's not a show going on, it's fun to watch the dolphins entertain themselves. Always looking for some game to play. They're very curious animals with a very high intelligence. They're said to be only second in intelligence to humans. I'm guessing that's not all humans. Anyway, uh, dolphins are known to have empathy. They often put their safety, their own safety at risk for the safety of the group. They look after each other. They've also been known to rescue humans.
just like us. If you don't use it, we lose it. Dolphins are the same way. Practice makes permanent. We're going to practice a lot of these behaviors to make sure that these uh, capabilities are home. Casey sliding up on the deck. When he lifts his tail, flips up. That's so he can balance on a weight scale. Just like we learned to step up on the scale, our dolphins learn to slide up on the scale. mental check, make sure you have all your personal items with you, especially lightweight personal items that can blow around, including anything that you may have purchased here, like photos, just make sure you keep those. our trainers communicating with our dolphins, mostly through hand signals and body movements. So most of our communication to the dolphin is visual. We do use a little bit of auditory and tactile communication, so sound and touch are used. We get our whistle being well, that whistle is the same thing to every dolphin. It is a good job. It is a form of secondary positive reinforcement. Reinforcement is anything that will increase the likelihood of frequency of behavior. Secondary meaning is not needed for survival. There it goes. For a K2 for a K2 for a K2 for a
Bottle nose dolphins grow between 10 and 14 feet. They weigh up to 1,100 pounds. And they live an average of 40 or 50 years. There's a lot of info and facts that you can find when you go to the the underwater viewing area. Another interesting place to just sit and watch the, the dolphins as they watch you. As you're watching them, they'll swim by and look at you. And it makes me wonder if they think we're the ones in a tank. Do they nudge each other and say, hey, let's go swim by the human tank and see what they're up to. And there's the humans are still standing there looking stupid. That one's picking his nose again. I didn't bother going to see the tigers. They're lazy and not nearly as entertaining as dolphins. I hope you enjoyed today's adventure. If you did, please like, leave a comment, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that now. And we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, I mean, can I see all this stuff too? Let's see what they look like.